Welcome to Quick History Facts, where we explore the fascinating people and events that have shaped our world. In this episode, we're taking a closer look at Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands. Wilhelmina was born in 1880, in The Hague, Netherlands. Her father, Prince William, was 63 when she was born and was the heir to the Dutch throne, and her mother, Princess Emma, was a member of the German nobility. Wilhelmina became queen at the age of just 10, after her father's death in 1890. Her mother acted as regent until she came of age. When she was 15, the young queen met Queen Victoria. Victoria wrote in her diary and said the young queen still has her hair hanging loose. She is very slight and graceful, has fine features and seems to be very intelligent and a charming child. She speaks English extremely well and has very pretty manners. At the age of 18, when she came of age, she officially could rule in her own right. In 1898 she was sworn in. She said that she hated politicians and she could be a very forceful, strong-willed woman when she wanted to be. In 1901, Wilhelmina married Duke Henry of Mecklenburg-Schwerin. Unfortunately, this marriage was not a happy one, and her husband had a number of extramarital affairs. Wilhelmina also suffered a number of miscarriages. In 1909, she had a healthy baby and she was called Juliana. Juliana was adored by her mother and she went on to become queen. Wilhelmina's reign was quite remarkable. She faced a number of challenges, including the rise of socialism and the threat of war. She was known for her strong leadership and her dedication to her country. During World War I, she played a crucial role in maintaining the Netherlands' neutrality, which helped to keep the country out of the conflict. After the war, Wilhelmina worked to modernize the Netherlands and improve the lives of its citizens. She supported the construction of new housing and infrastructure, and she championed women's rights. During World War II, Wilhelmina again showed her leadership skills as the Netherlands was occupied by Nazi Germany. She refused to collaborate with the invaders and instead fled to London, where she led the Dutch government in exile. Churchill is said to have called Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands the only true man in the Dutch government. She became a symbol of resistance and hope for the Dutch people, and her broadcasts on Radio Oranje were a vital source of encouragement during the dark days of the war. After the war, Wilhelmina returned to the Netherlands and oversaw the rebuilding of the country. She abdicated in 1948 in favour of her daughter Juliana but she remained active in public life until her death in 1962. Queen Wilhelmina was a remarkable woman who led her country through some of its most challenging times. Her legacy continues to inspire us today. Thanks for watching this episode of Quick History Facts. Be sure to subscribe for more fascinating stories from the past.